Erastus Deaf Smith was born in Dutchess County, New York to Chablis and Mary Smith on April 19, 1787. At the age of 11 or 12, he moved with his parents to Natchez, Mississippi Territory, and at the time, a childhood disease would cause him to lose his hearing. He first came to Texas while it was still ruled by Spain in 1817, but he did not stay for long. He later returned to Texas in 1821 after the Mexican War of Independence had ended and settled near San Antonio, where he married a Mexican widow, Guadalupe Ruiz Duran, in 1822, and had four children. In 1825, Smith joined James Kerr and a handful of other men in surveying the Dewitt colony. Smith moved freely between Anglo and Hispanic Tejano societies and spent much time learning Mexican customs and Spanish. Because of his knowledge of both Anglo and Hispanic cultures and the terrain of Texas, he served as a guide, scout, and spy. As the Texas Revolution began, Smith originally intended to remain neutral. He changed his mind, however, after the Texan army initiated a siege of Bayar. As the siege began, Smith and his son-in-law Hendrick Arnold were absent from the town on a hunting trip. The Mexican army increased security in the town and refused to allow Smith and Arnold to return to their homes within the city. An angry Smith immediately joined the Texan army. He wrote to Stephen F. Austin, I told you yesterday that I would not take sides in this war, but, sir, I now tender you my service, as the Mexicans acted rascally with me. His intelligence gathering was important at the Battle of Concepcion and during the grass fight, where he discovered the mule train that brought on the battle. In December 1835, Smith guided troops into San Antonio in the Siege of Bayar, where he was wounded atop the Varamandia house at the same time that Ben Milan was killed. After the evacuation of the Centralist troops from San Antonio in the later engagement, he moved his family to Columbia, Texas. After regaining his health, he served as a courier for William Barrett Travis, who considered him the bravest of the brave in the cause of Texas. He would carry Travis's letter from the Alamo on February 15, 1836, and met General Sam Houston at Gonzales after the signing of the Texas Declaration of Independence at the Washington on the Brazos, Texas. On March 13, General Sam Houston dispatched Smith and Henry Cranes back to San Antonio to learn the status of the Alamo garrison. Smith returned with Susanna W. and Agalina E. Dickinson and would take them to General Houston regarding the fate of the Alamo defenders. Smith was assigned to Captain Crane's Cavalry Company of the 1st Regiment of Volunteers and was promoted to captain in command of new recruits. Smith operated continuously on the way to, at, and after the Battle of San Jacinto, with small groups of volunteers from the cavalry unit and sometimes other units, successfully generating intelligence and special missions almost continuously. At Harrisonburg, he captured a Mexican courier with dispatches revealing the strength and position of Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana's army. On April 21st, prior to the Battle of San Jacinto, he and his men destroyed Vinches Bridge, which prevented the escape of the Mexican survivors after the battle. He would later join his unit to participate in the main battle, and was the courier who took Santa Ana's orders to General Filisola's army to retreat from Texas. After San Jacinto, General Russ continued to send Smith out as a scout, and after having been absent from the army for the first two weeks of July, he was incorrectly reported as captured by the Mexicans. During this period, his family, rendered destitute by the war, was living in Columbia, Texas, where it apparently had some dealings with Santa Ana, who was then being held at the nearby port of Valesco. On November 11, 1836, the Texas Congress granted Smith the property of Ramano Muquis on the northeast corner of San Antonio's military plaza as a reward for his military activities. Nevertheless, Smith and his family remained in Columbia. He resigned his commission in the army and raised a company of Texas Rangers that on February 17, 1837, defeated a band of Mexicans at Laredo. Soon thereafter, 
he resigned from ranger service and moved to Richmond, Texas, where he died in the home of Ronald Jones on November 30th, 1837. Sam Houston would write to Anna Raguette, My friend, Def Smith, and my stay in the darkest hour is no more. A man more brave and honest never lived. His soul is with God, but his fame and his family must command the care of his country. A monument in Smith's honor, paid for by the 41st legislature, was unveiled at his grave in Richmond on January 25, 1931.